undercooked meat, cat litter, and parasites. An article appeared in the September-October issue of Discover Magazine entitled Not Set in Stone, written by Marta Zaroska. The main theme of this article is that our personality can change significantly throughout our life. The discussion is interesting and is worth a full read, but only a portion of the content will be discovered here, addressing some health risks that one might think are good to know. Marta begins the article like this. If you were a rat, the smell of cat urine would likely scare you as much as a rattlesnake's hiss. But the rat navigating a maze for Joanne Webster, pathobiologist at London's Royal Veterinary College, was no ordinary specimen. As it explored the labyrinth that stretched ahead, cautiously at first, then more boldly, the rat stumbled upon a strange smell wafting from one of the corners. The scent seemed to draw it in. What the rat found so tempting, as did many of his lab mates tested in the maze, was indeed cat urine, turned somehow from rodent repellent to love potion. The rats had previously been infected with Toxoplasma gondii, a brain parasite that, as the scientists running the trials were learning, considerably altered the way the rats behaved. Not only did they display this strange attraction to the smell of cat urine, but they were also more eager to explore the maze than uninfected animals were. For better or for worse, their rat personality had changed. But how does this help the parasite? Well, again, when the rat inadvertently takes the parasite in, its behavior changed in two ways. It had a higher level of openness to experience, and cat urine smelled good to it. One can easily imagine how these changes could lead to a toxoplasma-infected rat placing itself in close proximity to one of its key predators. The toxoplasma parasite is now transferred to the cat, which is called its definitive host, which means that is where it reproduces. On Pedia, two terms, intermediate host and definitive host, are described, referencing an article by the CDC. A summary is basically that the parasite matures and persists inside the intermediate host, but it reproduces inside the definitive host. So, in the case of Toxoplasma, the rat is the intermediate host where it matures and persists, but the cat is the definitive host where the organism reproduces. The Discover article tells us that T. gondii, the parasite, can be picked up from eating undercooked meat or by exposure to used cat litter. Humans are no rodents, Zaroska tells us, but research indicates that T. gondii infection can affect our personalities too. Studies show that infected people are less conscientious and more extroverted than those who are T. gondii free. What's more, at least 40 studies have by now linked toxoplasmosis with schizophrenia. Almost everything we've seen in rats has been seen in people too, right down to this bizarre attraction to the smell of cat urine, says Joanne Webster. Recall, the theme of the Discover article is how one's personality can change. However, the author prudently tells us Eating undercooked meat is probably not the smartest way to change your personality, but for many people, altering certain traits could have a considerable payoff. Now, a story by Live Science entitled Parasite Food Found in Cat Poop Linked to Higher Brain Cancer Risk in Humans says, here's another reason to cook your meat and take care around cat litter. The parasite Toxoplasma gondii, which reproduces in cats and most often spreads to humans through raw meat, may increase the risk of brain cancer in humans. The researchers found a link between the presence of T. gondii antibodies in people's blood, indicating previous exposure to the parasite, and the development of glioma, the most common type of brain cancer. Anna Cogill, a cancer epidemiologist at the Moffitt Cancer Center in Tampa, Florida, had her findings published in the International Journal of Cancer. The findings suggest that individuals with higher exposure to the T. gondii parasite are more likely to go on to develop glioma. However, 
Cogill cautioned that the current findings need to be replicated in a larger and more diverse group of individuals, and that the average person's overall risk of developing glioma in their lifetime remains low. Since we're talking about parasites, let's touch on one more. Trichinella is another parasite that humans can contract by eating undercooked meat, usually pork but beef can be contaminated from a meat grinder previously used for contaminated pork. The Mayo Clinic discusses trichinosis, the, the disease caused by the trichinella parasite. Trichinosis, sometimes called trichinellosis, is a type of roundworm infection. Similar to toxoplasma, roundworm parasites use a host in which to live and reproduce. These parasites primarily infect carnivores but they infect omnivores too, such as domestic pigs and wild boars. As already stated, humans can then acquire trichinella by eating undercooked pork. Once eaten, the trichinella larvae mature into adult worms in the small intestine over the course of several weeks. The adult worms then produce larvae that travel to various tissues, including muscle. Takeaways from this, please cook your meat well and wash your hands after emptying the cat litter. Hopefully you learned something good to know. Our Patreon link can be found on the Good to Know website. The domain is seemoreclearly.net. And thank you for watching.